Welcome back to Action News Now. It's a job a lot of girls and boys dream of growing up, but most never get the chance to suit up and become a firefighter. But now that dream has become a reality for more than a dozen Chico community members, thanks to the Citizens Fire Academy. I went to see if I had what it takes, so I strapped up my boots and participated in the academy last week. We know they're the brave men and women who put themselves between you and dangerous situations, but that's only half the story. They're the first scenes and accidents. They do a lot of medical visits. They obviously put out structure fires, work on wildland fires, but I didn't know at all what that felt like. And that's exactly why the Chico Fire Department decided to start holding a Citizens Fire Academy. So this just gives people the opportunity to really understand what we do. Chico Fire Chief Steve Standridge had put on a similar event in his time as a firefighter in Colorado. He knew he wanted to implement the program when he took the reins as the head of the Chico Fire Department, and he wasn't alone. And, and when I came here, I had some very enthusiastic firefighters who were also interested in putting it together. The Citizens Fire Academy starts out with two nights in a classroom setting, where we learned about the history of the Chico Fire Department dating back to 1873. It was also really neat to hear how much um, research has played into their new roles and how they're embracing that and taking that technology and taking that information to make a safer place for themselves. Cadets also learn about fire behavior, department staffing, and thanks to the addition of a third day of the academy, they get to see what firefighter life is all about. To go into a fire station, have a captain talk about what the life of a firefighter is on a day-to-day -day basis, what they do, how they do it, how they live together. The classroom portion for the Citizens Fire Academy from Chico Fire Department certainly gives you a better understanding and comprehension of what the men and women of the Chico Fire Department themselves do, but you don't really get a full grasp and understanding of what they have to do day in, day out, till you roll up your own sleeves and get your hands a little dirty. It's like kids in a candy store. They get to do things that they've only maybe seen on TV. So repelling off the top of a building, conquering the fear of repelling. Pulling hose, searching for somebody inside a burning or a, a smoke filled room or a building, um, learning about our hazmat team, our rescue team. During the hands on training day, we were instructed on repelling, on hazmat procedure and regulations, what's needed for medical calls. We got to try our hands at vehicle extraction to feel the push of a powerful fire hose. And several other tasks we'd almost certainly never get a chance to perform if it weren't for the academy. Me and my partner Emma were able to search throughout an entire smoke filled building to try to find a dummy of a baby and an, an, an adult human. Cards on the table, almost none of us saved the baby. But it's not fun and games. For cadets, it can be grueling. Is this what you expected? They do a lot of work. It's a hard, it's a hard job. You know, just the training and the knowledge that they need to have. I, I'm thrilled with it. As we got towards the end of our training, we even got the opportunity to sit inside of a burning structure to see fire behavior firsthand. Experiences cadets say was well worth their time. Hey, do it. You got to do it. Yeah, definitely. It's just an incredible opportunity for citizens to come out and, and really learn about, about the folks who are keeping us safe. If you're interested in participating, it's been a success for the last two years. So the Chico Fire Department plans on doing this again next year. And they say sign up will be sometime late winter. You did it last year. I did it this year. And I think both of us would highly recommend this. Oh, if you have a chance to sign up, I say do it. It gives you the best hands-on experience of knowing what our first responders go through, the weight of that equipment, the heat of the fire. And, of course, you cover weather events. We covered the fires last season. And you think about fighting a fire in all of that gear in the middle of our summer yeah. temperatures. And it was cool and a little wet last weekend, so it wasn't too bad for us. But, uh, boy, it really does give you just a great understanding. Kudos. And thank you to all of our first responders as well.